because he talk a lot of things and you know guys that's why he's personal there's probably nothing more satisfying in life than getting sweet revenge against your biggest enemy he's the troll he knows that he like us to get like a lot he talk a lot of shit two fights down and yet a controversial close outcome each time the middleweight feud between the thunderous Kazik and the mighty Mexican never fails to lose its steam. Let's come on, bring big drama show. Let's go, let's do it. Laying it all on the line once more, can we expect to see revenge or repeat from a more matured version of Gennady? Or will Alvarez cement his name once more by dotting the I's, crossing the T's in this conclusive trilogy grudge match? Twelve rounds of boxing for the light heavyweight championship of the world. No mercy for you. Taking a loss in boxing can often lead to a dent in pride and an abyss of concern for the future. How is he gonna be able to break that distance that Beagle keeps so running? Canelo being one of few fighters to rarely take a hit in the record department, suffered his first defeat since Mayweather back in 2013. Look at him go! Oh my word, Beagle! And Canelo wants more of it! Being outboxed, outworked, and outmaneuvered by the Russian, the unpredicted outcome of Dimitri Bivol abruptly ending the Mexicans' winning streak soon became a reality that painfully hit home. You usually have a plan B or a plan C. Why was nothing working against him? You know, he's, he's a great fighter. He comes in out, ins and out. He really manages his distance really well. I felt like uh, maybe he did enough to win the fight, but that's, that's boxing. What is it that you feel the judges missed? And what did you do that you felt should have gotten you the victory tonight. You know, often judges um, don't score things that, that perhaps, or they score things that perhaps they shouldn't. During the fight, was there any point in which you thought you might be behind on the scorecards? No. And if you had known you were behind on the scorecards, would you have fought any differently? It's more aggressive, I think. Like many fighters after their fights, the brief spell of delusion that cast over them often causes an irrational response to the final result. However, with time to think and reflect on the night, Canelo finally faced some possible home truths on why the fight didn't go his way. But I don't, I don't, I don't want to say anything and make any excuses. I lost and that's it. He couldn't do the uppercuts anymore. What happened? I, I get tired. That's it. I can train like usually, but uh, it, it is what it is. Like I say, you know, I lost. With his courageous attempt to challenge the Giants at light heavyweight, getting off to an unfortunate start, Canelo's decision to move on swiftly demonstrated his battle-tested mindset was still firing on all cylinders. Although not opting for the expected rematch against Bivol just yet, Canelo's will to test himself against an even older rival seemed to become the next best thing on his three-fight deal with DAZN. If you won't give it to me, I'ma take it. Looking back over a highly dominant career, there was a time when Golovkin was often referred to as the most feared man in boxing. And whilst destroying virtually every middleweight he came into contact with, the knock-on effect certainly made Alvarez think twice before jumping up to 160. But even an elite level athlete such as Golovkin is still at the mercy of age. As we all know, the hands of time waits for no man. He just is not the same fighter that he used to be. And there's no secret in me saying that because time has passed. He's not supposed to be the same fighter that he used to be. 
His last outing against Murata demonstrated vulnerabilities and chinks in his considerably weathered armor. As a slow start and some distaste for body shots made him look human for the most part. Body shot there from Murata, middleweight champion. Good uppercut from Murata, connects as well. Despite pulling back into the fight late rounds to get the stoppage, the shadow of doubt to whether Golovkin still has what it takes to compete against young, elite fighters started to cast over the boxing world as he now hits 40 years of age. Some people have suggested it's not even that, it's just that he's getting older. No, I, I disagree with that. I, I, if he was going forward and stalking somebody and throwing punches like he used to, and he was still getting hit like that, then I would agree with you. It's just that he's trying to do things that it's not him. On the opposite side of the fence, Canelo's pursuit to conquer the sport of boxing hasn't stalled one bit. If anything, he's gotten better. I think in that time past, Golovkin's aged a lot more than Canelo has, and I think it'll be a bit of a one-sided win for Canelo. But I can just tell you this, Canelo gonna beat the brakes off Triple G. I'm just letting y'all know right now, he coming, Canelo coming home with bro. Um, but, the second time, he was much more sure of himself, and that's why he brought the fight the way he brought the fight, rather than the first time. However, without forgetting the facts, Gennady has single-handedly raised the bar when it comes to aggressive, front-foot fighting. And now with Jonathan Banks in his corner, could we possibly see an old dog return with some new tricks? He wants something different. He really wants to grow. He really wants to improve. So all I got to do is implement the things that I was taught and just basically bring it up. We are preparing for victory, and that's all that matters. We, we preparing for victory. With his chin still holding up as one of the best in the game, Saul's vow to stop Golovkin this time around could be unlikely yet again. Though coming in the clear favorite, many have suggested he might just pull it off. I believe he will knock Triple G out and uh, he's back on top of the world. Protect yourself at all times, and what I say, you must obey. Good luck, touch him up, bring us what they. The first affair was riddled with controversy. The second wasn't far off either. Oh, oh, oh great shot. Good up again, Though almost four years on the unlikely third collision could possibly settle a score that is much needed before either man decide to call it a day. Is it fair to say this fight is personal for you? Yeah, it's, it's personal for me. Is I'm this a... personal for you as well, this fight? I go out to box. If he has something personal against me, I believe it's his problem, not mine. From initially showing each other respect at the beginning to now a rivalry turned bitter, the perfect stylistic matchup between Canelo and Triple G will always light a fire in any fight fan's belly come the night of the fight. Arena here in Las Vegas. They have appreciated every moment. And now the hatred, the enmity for Many are implying this is just a cash-out fight for Gennady. However long awaiting this fight since his loss back in 2018, he'd likely beg to differ. What do you need to do? What needs to change? No, maybe next time, not Vegas. For Alvarez, it's clear his defeat last time out has sparked a new burning desire to get back on top again. And facing his longtime nemesis, he'll certainly come for blood. To try and stifle him, but he comes, and down he goes for the second time. The Lofkin, who is just hammering away on Murata. Pride and legacy are on the line once again in a matchup that will always scream fireworks from the opening bell. And with both men at completely different stages of their careers, we could possibly witness something we've been yet to see up until this point.